Hi guys, I'm Dan McDermott and I uh, host some shows. I use Wirecast, so I thought I'd make a quick video for my phone to show you my setup because this, this would have helped me a lot when I was first getting started and I have a feeling it's going to help you. So there's, uh, all right, first I'm going to do a behind the scenes quick uh, look at the setup. This is a bunch of computer monitors, a bunch of computers, and um, for lighting I have professional really hot lights but then I just one bulb burned out and so I tried an experiment and I went to Lowe's and I bought these things they are uh, 27 bucks it's basically three fixtures and then I've got halogen bulbs in there the equivalent of a hundred watt they're 26 watts I guess so it's equivalent of uh, 300 watts per stand I got three of these stands so I got equivalent of 900 watts it looks really good on camera and then you see a bunch of um, I got uh, some nice studio speakers here and then uh, you don't need those and then um, I've got uh, monitors one two 32 inch TV which is also a computer monitor then then monitor four over there and then my laptop which is number five so I got four computers and five monitors now let me tell you what's going on the most important thing is good audio I am not interested in in uh, because for most podcasts this is me holding the phone. For most podcasts, people will listen to it. Um, if you ask Leo Laporte, the vast majority of people will listen, although that will probably change as he because he's got this new million-dollar studio, so he'll probably get more, more streamers. And it'll also change as more people can use uh, various devices to get video. Uh, like this, uh, this Vizio television actually has an Internet app that, is, um, that has twit.tv on it, so I can watch him there uh, if I chose to. All right, so here's, here's my setup. I bought um, two computers at Walmart, the $300 with no monitor, and, and uh, on this computer here, I can bring either a Skype caller or I can bring in Blog Talk Radio, and then I route the audio through my mixing board. So my typical setup is here, I'll have Skype or Blog Talk Radio callers, and then this is my main Wirecast computer where I'm mixing stuff, and then on the right side of the monitor there, I'll bring up my Chrome browser for my general browsing during the show. And then uh, this is my uh, my monitor that I'm using to um, watch the show, so I can make sure without really just peripherally I can kind of look and see if, if I'm centered right or not. Or not. Um, over here I've got uh, a Google Hangout going on, but I haven't invited anybody. I just set it up to show you, and uh, that is basically like Group Skype. If you don't know, it's a Google Plus Hangout, and Google Plus is free and open to everybody now at plus.google.com hope you'll circle me I'm at uh, I'm at right there gplus.to slash McDermott that is uh, that's me on Google Plus I do a show called Google Plus Week and I do a McDermott Report and we're getting ready to do some local shows over here I have my laptop where I have Justin TV coming in where I can monitor my live show and I can participate in the chat room if I so chose now my internet is is really fast it's 30 down and 10 up I've got Comcast Business Class the mid-level. Uh, it's about a hundred bucks a month, I think, or maybe more. I forget. Something about that. Now, the, as I said, audio is the most important part of video. You will listen to a song with no video, but you will not listen, watch a video that has terrible audio. Um, so I have this $500 studio mic, and if you look, I'm, I'm kind of like here during the show, and I'll be like, hey, how you doing? I'm Dan, blah, blah, blah. And it's, it's, not, that, uh, it's not that in your face, um, but it really gives you absolutely awesome audio. Now my mixer, um, to keep track of all these computers, I have this. It's a little $50 thing and I just switch one, two, three, and four and I use one keyboard and I just switch between the computers. And I, I choose separate monitors because I want to see everything that's going on but if, if uh, you're in a pinch, you could use one monitor and when you switch these between the however many computers you have, um, your monitor and your mouse and keyboard would switch. So if I go to one, here, then my keyboard, my mouse is uh, controlling this computer right here, and then if I go to two, it's controlling my Wirecast uh, switching computer, etc. Um, and then three is the Google Hangout, and then um, this one I'm not hooked into that, but I could if I so chose. Now my mixing board, how you do the audio? There are other ways to do this. I know that Craig likes to bring in group people on Skype. The problem is you can't control each individual's audio, or at least I don't think you can at the time I'm making this video. So what I do is I have my main microphone here, 
And if I had uh, somebody else as a, as a guest, uh, it would, um, they'd be two and whatever. Um, this is a Persona Studio Live. Now, this is more board than you need. Uh, this is about a, I think, a $1,200 mixer. But it's got compression and everything. But I don't use any of that. I just, um, I just use straight, raw, the signal. And then as you see, I'm talking here. You can see my thing. One, two, check, two. You can see how I'm going. Of course, I'm not using this mixer for this. I'm just using the camera phone, uh, which is a Motorola Photon for my fellow tech geeks. Here, I'm bringing in the other two computers, my Blog Talk Radio and, and my... Um, my uh, Google Hangout, but again, you could bring in two Skype folks or whatever. Uh, anything I want to put on these computers, I can put on there and bring into the show. And then here is where I'm sending the audio back out to the computer. So my wiring here, I've got my input from my microphone, and then I've got my main outs from the board to my Wirecast computer. Then I have my um, outs to the speakers, which you don't need because you're not going to use speakers during a show, you can use your headphones. Uh, and then I have my audio going out through my aux sends, aux sends out to the um, to the two computers. And then here I'm bringing in my audio with these Radio Shack uh, um, one eighth inch at the computer end to RCA plugs to bring my audio in. And then uh, the the key is with the, a mixer like this, you've got aux sends. Uh, auxiliary output. So I've got my main feed, everything here, these silver buttons are me, Skype, and the Google Hangout, or Blog Talk Radio, whatever I choose to do. And if I, I, I could add two more computers and have a total of four different inputs and bring them in with Desktop Presenter for the video. But I want to be able to, if one guy's making too much noise, I can mute them, right? And then I can just have the Skype person. And then when I'm going back to the Hangout or, or whatever I can just switch it like this and that way if someone's coughing or moving around and shuffling and the audio or something I can control I could have four different Skype callers up here like this and then whichever one's talking I bring the other ones down and then uh, we just hear that one person talk and maybe I'll bring it up just a little bit so if they start to talk I, I can see like okay Joe's starting to talk so I'll bring Joe up but this way I can still hear him but but it's not uh, it's not too much noise to keep a nice clean audio signal and then um, what I do is I'm going to tell it, for aux1, I want to bring in my mic, aux1 being a feed to this computer here, right? I want them to hear me, and I want them to hear the other people. So that aux1, I'm sending myself and my guest in studio, but I don't have one, so I, can e I could even turn that down. And then I'm also sending the other computer that is this one. So I want... Uh, I want the person, I want the, the Skype caller to hear me and to hear the Google Hangout. But I don't want the Skype caller to hear themselves or I'll have feedback and they'll have a delay back, right? So then on AUX2, I have again my signal and this time I have the uh, Skype computer. I'm sending it, um, but I'm not sending. On AUX2, I'm not sending, because again, it's the same computer here. I'm not sending this one, or I'd have feedback. So with a good mixer, that's what you can uh, accomplish. You can have different different elements you're bringing in live, and you can um, control their audio, have much better control. And then uh, with, with Wirecast, right here, I will, um, I'll have my shot. Let me sw again, switch back to here. Uh, so I have my shot, and then I have, um, I'll click here. And that is my Skype computer right there. And then I'll click on three. And that is um, the Google Hangout, which is uh, currently not, no one's in it. So you, you would see right there, you'd see a big picture. And you see I've cropped it to where you'll just see that person. That's a better shot anyway. So anyway, that's how I do it. If you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer them in the comments. Um, and uh, hopefully this helps somebody. So again, I'm Dan McDermott. You can catch me at... Um, let me see here. I'll, I'll give myself a little plug. You can catch me at uh, on Google Plus at gplus.to slash McDermott. And my shows usually run weekdays at about 8 p.m. Eastern time. Anyway, thanks so much. Uh, hope this helps. And I will catch you with Wirecast later on. Take care.